Hi friends, David here from Learn Stage Lighting Gear, and in this video, we're going to show you how to connect with a Novastar uh, Coex processor using their vision management platform, the VMP software. So one of the changes that's come up recently with Novastar is the new line of processors called the COEX or VMP processors. Um, that stands for their vision management program, um, which is this piece of software that I've got right in front of me. And with that change have come a lot of positive things. Mapping a wall in a Novastar software has never been easier. Um, Long are the days of kind of jumping through clunky menus. It's gotten a lot simpler. But the one thing with VMP and these new processors that can be tricky for people is initially connecting to them. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So unlike the older processors, the VX400, 600,000s, etc., those older processors and even this TB50 that I have on my desk connect via USB to a computer. So you pretty much plug and play, and there's not a whole lot that can go wrong in that situation. Some of you may be scratching your heads and being like, oh yes, there is, but really, it's, it's not, <laughs> there's not that much that can go wrong. You plug in the USB, it generally works. With the new processors, it's all network-based. And, you know, if you haven't learned this stuff already, if it's new to you, that's okay. But it's the kind of skills in networking that are just going to serve you well and you're going to use again and again in the future with video walls and other AVL equipment. So what I've done is I've started, I've got my processor here, and I've plugged it into power and connected to my network and flipped on the power switch. If you're connecting this to an active network that has a router or a DHCP server, um, so it's got a router, it's connected, this is a great way to set it up initially. Okay, because all you have to do is plug it in and it's going to use DHCP to get a IP address assigned. You'll be able to click on it right here in VMP and now you're able to work with it. Okay, um, I'll make it pretty here by switching to the internal picture and voila, we're connected and we're working live on our processor. However, if you're connecting direct to a computer or setting up a small show network that doesn't have a router, which honestly, I would just carry a small router with you for for making little LED wall processor networks because then it's just plug and play. But if you're in a pinch, you don't have that stuff, connect via your computer straight out of the network port to the processor. Next on the screen, and I apologize, I don't have this up, but maybe we could simulate it or something. Uh, uh, we're just gonna go into the menu, scroll down to system settings, I believe. Nope, we'll find it communication settings, network settings, and then mode. You can then set it to manual, set an IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway. What if you don't know what to put for those? Um, a really great kind of go-to for show networks is just set it to the IP address 2.0.0.1, okay? Set the subnet mask to 255.255.255.0, and if they let you keep the gateway um, empty, do that, or else set it to 2.0.0.2. Then go to your computer, go to your Ethernet adapter, um, if it's a PC, because I believe VMP runs on Macs too. I admit I'm usually a PC person, but we're going to Google that quick um, to make sure we're giving accurate info. Um, but I believe it's, you know, similar to smart LCT. It can run on, run on the old Macs. Um, of course, you can't find it then. That's okay. Um, but regardless, whether it runs on Macs or not, um, you just go to your network settings. You know, In Windows, I personally uh, like to just type Ethernet in Windows 11, okay? And then you'll see your different Ethernet adapters, okay? This is a secondary one that I have connected. And then you can just switch it from automatic to manual. Set the IP address to 2.0.0. I like to just go with 100 so I can have a bunch of devices below that. 255.255.255.0 is a good subnet mask. Leave gateway open. And then you should be able to connect via that Ethernet port straight to the processor, launch up VMP, and see it right here. 
Okay. So you really don't have to worry. I know this can be a big tech support thing where people are like, Hey, I can't connect to the processor. Um, but because most of the new processors have screens, um, if not all of them, um, that does make the process a lot simpler than connecting to a screenless device without, um, that network info. So if that sounds good and you're interested, Hey, we've got the full line of Nova star processors over at learnstagelightinggear.com. We've also got tons of LED walls from lots of different brands. Uh, we have the ability to really get a lot of the different brands out there and help you find exactly the right wall for your needs. So if you're looking, head over to learnstagelightinggear.com, drop us a contact form, fill out our LED wall calculator, or just go ahead and add some stuff to your cart and ask us for a quote. We love to help people find the number one best solution for their needs and then be able to get it set up and rocking and rolling nice and easy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.